Hello, everybody. This is Father John LeCarry, um, and uh, wishing you all a wonderful fourth Sunday in Advent. Um, I would like to share a message to all altar servers out there, um, and I'm going to read my letter to you. Um, Dear altar servers, it is my prayer that one day soon you will be able to return to serve at Mass once again. I also pray that you will never forget what a privilege it is for us to serve Jesus and his church so near to where the words of sacred scripture are proclaimed, as well as so near to the altar where the gifts of bread and wine become the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord. You have generously given your time in the past to assist at our school and daily morning masses, as well as our weekend masses, various funerals, weddings, processions, and visits from our bishop. I especially wish to thank your parents, grandparents, and in general, any adult who provided transportation for you from your home to church and back home again. Some of you may be moving on to attend other schools and parishes in the upcoming year. Always know that St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church is your home. For those of you returning to serve again at Mass when the time comes, be assured that you will be and are so appreciated. Father Dennis and I will be glad to help you recall anything you may have forgotten since the last time you served at a Mass. Father Dennis, Deacon Don Creeley, and I, and this parish are so grateful for your dedication and service. Merry Christmas. Um, also want to bring to your attention uh, two other things. One is our um, uh, Christmas Vigil Mass, which is at 4 o'clock in English and 7 in Spanish. I'm going to address this. Our 4 o'clock Mass is usually very well attended, although it is hard to predict what will happen this week. Uh, we have, uh, are going to have a, uh, a limit of those who can come into the church, and that limit is about 150 people, more or less. Uh, when we reach that limit, then those who come after that number is reached will be ushered across the parking lot to the school where we will have uh, another Mass for the spillover crowd, as it's called, uh, and that will begin at 4.15. So please remember this very important announcement when you uh, keep it in your mind. Last but not least, I, um, in my homily as we discuss the Annunciation of Mary, uh, I also... Um, refer much of my words to a homily by Cardinal Burke, which you can find in its entirety uh, on YouTube. Just go to Cardinal Burke, um, speaks about COVID-19 and the Great Reset. Um, please find it. Uh, it's easy to find. I hope you do. Uh, again, I wish you all a wonderful weekend and in preparation for Christmas, uh, a wonderful Christmas as well.